Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna take a look at 20 legend teams from this season for the Open Great League. I was able to get 20 different ones from social media, went through all my feeds and found 20 different people that hit legend and we have all the teams here today. Actually 21 if you would count us like this, but one are very similar like two are very similar to each other. But otherwise, of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to do so. Only 42% are subscribed as well as those videos always hit a lot of new people. So feel free to hang around if you interest in pvp otherwise also today going to be mainly um some very not so spicy teams to be fair so definitely if you want to see something else as well here are two different videos as well that i made already for the top teams for the great league but let's move on directly into team number one. First team we're going to actually have here the buzzwall which is going to be an interesting one buzzwall in the lead is an interesting choice as a fighter being able to complete their story all the steel type pokemon having a better match up against something like a Rachi steel for example for like compared to the medicham as well as you're going to be able to destroy the alone sand slash which is going to be in the back here as a shadow variant as far as i know every time i put when i like when i put the shadow variant in it's actually also the shadow variant variant from the players but there are some cases where i don't have the confirmation if those pokemon are shadow or not then it's just the normal variant in there so definitely keep this in mind but here very solid first team as we can move on to the next one you've been catch a bug also a fellow youtuber so definitely check them out as well if you want to but we're going to have here a team with a lone sensor in lead being the shadow variant the mandibus i think as a safe swap yeah should be the safe swap here and chrysalia in the back chrysalia in the back is usually a little bit too weak as a safe swap as you're going to be completely hard walled by any kind of steel type pokemon which is a little bit awkward but still very solid team a little bit tricky maybe against reggie steel but i feel like the alone sand slash still can deal with it next team going to be a team that i showcased as well on my channel this was um, a rank one in the world team actually with shadow alone nine tails but Hello, Ninetales, Alolan, and Sandslash, of course, but with Powder Snow instead of the Shadow Claw, which is something that you don't really see too often, but if you saw my video about uh, the Wireless Legend, not Legend Run, like, regional win in Barcelona, definitely check them one out as well. They basically also used Powder Snow there, just easy to destroy Lickitung with that one compared to Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw is actually a bad matchup for you against Lickitung like this, it is a decent one. Gliger and Pelipper in the back, Gliger is a Seisop and is a normal variant here, not a Shadow. Speaking of the Zwilers, next team going to be from them, they hit Legend with this very spicy team with the Alolan Marowak, the Charger Bug as well as the Arctic Bugs, which is really, really crazy, honestly, like, Shadow Alolan Marowak is something that we already really see. Charger Bug is actually something that we're going to have another time here as well later on. And Arctibugs is of course one of the Pokemon that just got released. So this is definitely an interesting spicy team here. Definitely something I like to see, but we can move on to the next one, which is going to be our round at the Deoxys defense. Yeah, Deoxys defense in the lead is a great lead in general in the current meta. Being able to go for a Psycho boost and dip is really cool. Say so, but most likely the Gliga again here. I don't know if it's a Shadow or if it's a normal variant, but um, it's going to be the Carbink in the back, which is going to be basically getting rid of... Basically, you have the Gliga, which is part ground type. Ground and rock uh, have a lot of common weaknesses, like water as well as grass so you're going to have basically the option to bait out any water type pokemon there so this is kind of how this works and then you have carving in the back to clean up those games next one this is actually something that i also kind of um, saw a lot of times um japanese or like in general asian type player like they all have like so crazy different teams to what we see in like europe or like america and it's like cool to see honestly i just love to see like some kind of variety and as you can see here they were running the shadow nine tails which i also made a video about definitely check that one out as well i did two teams around this in one video so definitely cool but ferrothorn as well here as well as the mate champ i would imagine that they used mate champ as a say so but great team like honestly i love to see like some kind of more spicier picks like the shadow nine tails performing someone to get to legend next on this was the one where i mean like yeah maybe it's actually 21 different teams because here dune bucks team as well as kento's team is basically the same just a different say so either mage Chem or the reggie steel depending on what you want to do i think like kento was using mage Chem and dune Bucks like reggie steel most likely so um yeah Definitely solid team, very meta team in general, with Amanda Bus in the back being a very good answer against Superior, which are coming up right now. So, um, very solid lineup, definitely worth using. Next one, going to be a team around the Licky Tank, but also the Frosters from Scaffold 99. Very strong player, very strong team. Frost is really strong in the current meta, being able to function great as a say so, being completely able to destroy Medicham. Maybe the HG were running in the back, who knows? You can also use Gliga as a say so, but. I don't know, maybe. Versus, I feel like it's a better say-swap for this team, though. 
because it's going to be weaker theoretically against Reggie still compared to Gligan. You always kind of want to have your better answer in the back. But also, I guess a lot of times they were just playing out the lead matchup and saw where it's going. So definitely a solid line here. Next one here, I don't know if it's the Shadow Steelix. I feel like it doesn't really matter for this team. Like you can run the normal, you can run the Shadow Steelix. Both of them should be totally fine. And as you could see here, they are having a great matchup in general. Like Steelix looks so great on paper. Honestly, this thing is just insane. Maybe I make another video about this one as well. This is an ABA style team as you're going to have common weaknesses of Steelix and Carving together. So you kind of most likely want to play out the lead, try to um, get out something like the Gliga and try to beat it with this one and then have Carving plus Mage Champ to clean up the end game, which is a common strategy higher up as well. But we can move on to the next team, which is another spicier one here. As said before, we're going to have another team with a Charger Buck. Charger Buck is a very cool say so being able to destroy actually both Liquid Tank as well as Medicham. If you have certain IVs, um, Licky Tang, you always basically win in the two shit scenario, which is great. So this Pokemon functions actually really strong as a say sub. I played myself already in the Great League as a say sub and it was really cool. So can I recommend it to you? Definitely try that one out. But here we can move on to the next team coming up. Being a team that I also tried out, I didn't make a video about, but I said in the video that I played this team. I didn't have to, I didn't have any success with this team. Like honestly, I went so so bad with it. I don't know if I would recommend you to try it out yourself, but it can be different for you. It got Jason to Legend here for me. It was a little bit different. And also, um, I made a mistake for Azumarill. Azumarill actually was running Hydro Pump instead of Play Rough. So definitely make sure to change that one here. It's a little bit wrong on the graphics. But uh, still, solid team here for sure. If it works for you, for me, it just didn't work. But I like there's a thing as well. Sometimes you just have to try out teams for a little bit longer. I played this one for like three sets. It didn't work out for me at all. And I uh, dropped it afterwards. There are always some teams that you're going to have to figure out how to play certain matchups and then they're going to be really good afterwards. So maybe try it out for like two days, three days and see how it's going to go for you if you want to try this team out. But yeah, for me, it just didn't work out. But this doesn't mean that the team is bad at all. Next team here. This is an interesting team because I was not expecting that this would be able to hit Legend here right now. Main reason is you have Carving, Frosters and Superior and all are weak to... Um, a Reggie Steel, but also be the alone um, Sandslash. Yeah, alone Sandslash is going to be able to completely destroy you. So I'm curious on how like this is really possible. But I guess if you don't encounter Steel type, you're going to be able to win with this team. But yeah, I don't know. They definitely saw a team in terms of the Pokemon that they use. But I would be a little bit too scared to not use something like this because I always kind of want to have some kind of coverage for Steel type Pokemon, at least on my team. Next team here is a team that I actually showcased on my channel as well. So you can find a video for this one as well. I think I had the Cherizard as a thumbnail for it, so definitely check that one out. But we're going to have the Shadow Cherizard, we have a normal Swampert, it was a normal Swampert, and the Reggie's the other say sub. And this team was working out super well for me as well, so definitely something worthy to check out. Really cool team, worked out super well, and I can highly recommend it to you. So, moving on, next one, Me Riddle. I do know that they're running the Shadow variant of the Alone Sand Search now, which I had to research a little bit into, but this is also a very meta line. Reggie CSA swap, made Jim in the lead, uh, a lot of sand slash in the back, I would guess here for this team. A little bit tricky for Gliga lead if you would encounter this, because many Chem as well as the Reggie still doesn't really appreciate those, while the alone sandwich, of course, is going to be fine for it. So, um, not really a team that I would like to play, but of course, they are having great success with this. And the issue for me is just that your only real good Medicham answer is Medicham. Yes, I know Reggie still has some potential in the zero shit scenario, but still, it's a steel type, okay? Like, at least from my head, it's, it's still definitely something that he can run. Like, it's not a bad team at all. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Interestingly enough, again, I think there was also, like, from an Asia region or whatever, this team, because, like, honestly, it's just like some some stuff that I saw there was actually absolutely wild. They hit legend with this team here with a Vigoroth as well as a weekly top. Like honestly, that's so cool. I just always appreciate those a little bit more unique teams that are not like just two steel types and a Medicham. So honestly, great crazy cool team here. I saw them actually playing some games as well on like a streaming platform which wasn't Twitch. I don't know what this actually was, but um what I saw as well is if they have a bad lead, they're actually swapping into the weekly top as a safe swap, which I found interesting. So just to keep in mind that one there, but like, yeah, that was kind of interesting. But otherwise, check all the people out on Twitter. I put the Twitter name, is the team name there. So definitely check them out if you want to see some more information, if you want to see the teams, etc. So definitely they are something for you. Next one going to be also a classic one. We're going to have Deoxys defense in the lead, Sableye as a safe swap, and Mandibus in the back. That's at least what I guess they are running. They could also decide to go for Mandibus safe swap, but 
not sure if this is going to be worth it. I would imagine that they go for Sableye just for also the increase of Azumarill. But um, Sword Team nonetheless, definitely something that still will work out for quite a long time. This is a very old old G team as well, so definitely solid. Next one, going to be something that is also working out fairly well, I guess. Reggie Steel in the lead, Lickitung and Seisop and Deoxys in the back. Lickitung and Reggie Steel both have actually fairly neutral matchups against Medicham, which is kind of nice. Why it is okay to have a double weakness to fighting here because Medicham is the only fighter anyway. Otherwise, you're going to have some problems if you would encounter some mega Shadow Machamp or something in the lead. But otherwise, so this team definitely looks very decent. Deoxys defense looks solid in the back there, being able to sweep some games hopefully for you. Next one is going to be also more of an OG classic line, like Flyer, Double Water has been around since season one, but not really that common nowadays because back in the day you are running usually something like a Skarmory in the lead, and um, yeah, Skarmory is somewhere different now. Like I don't know where this is going to ever be, but hopefully we're gonna get the Generation 8 Steel and Flying type Pokemon soon, which is Corviknight, which would be really great for both Great League as well as Ultra League. Made a video about upcoming Corbreakers as well for those leagues, so definitely check that one out. But uh, we're going to see here already that Pidgeot is very strong in this meta. Like Pidgeot is really gr crazy good. We have Lantern as a safe swap, I would guess, as Swampert is going to struggle a little bit more against other Pokemon. But um, yeah. Looks like a solid team. I guess they are running Spark on Lantern. It's a little bit tricky for Steelix lead for sure, but it's, I mean, like, yeah. Steelix lead is not that crazy common CJ more on the back, I would expect at least. So it's still a very solid line. Looks really good on paper. And I might actually want to try this one out. I'm not sure about it, but I might want to try this one out. Here we're going to see the first Legend team. Also, video on my channel about this one, so... Check that one out if you want to see some gameplay towards this one. But we have a normal Charm Ninetales here in the back, which I found interesting. Usually you only see like the shadow variant of it. And um, Licky Tongue is a safe swap in the Oxus in the lead. is kind of standard, so very solid there. And we can move on to the final one for today, which is most likely the most uh, yeah, standard line that you can have. Literally, Gligar, Licky Tongue, Medicham is the core meta right now. It's like the three meta Pokemon that are all together. And uh, yeah, I mean, this team is very strong. Like, what can I say? It looks so great on paper. It is great on paper. It is just also great when you play it. I played some of that stuff as well before, and you know, it's, it's a very strong line. Like, honestly, right now, Gligar plus Licky Tank is mostly the most annoying core for the Great League, and it, it's just ridiculous. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you then. And also, check out the videos on the screen, and I'll see you then. Bye bye.